Okay, guys, this is the location that we're going to today. So basically, I was out yesterday. I was headed to a place, and the, the lot here, this house here is like 1856. And I stopped there. I've stopped there a couple times before, and no one was home. So I, since I was over that way, I stopped, and, and the owner was there, and he gave us permission to come and do his property. But we're going to wait until it's nicer out because he's got a nice lawn. So maybe in a week or two, we'll probably go and do that lawn. And while I was there, he was talking about the lot beside him. So the lot beside him, he said there was an old house, and that's this lot right here. So that he said there was an old house there, but before the house was there, he's got an old photo from the 1800s that actually shows an old church there. And in the photo, you can see his barn. So when they took the photo, this barn here showed up in the background of the photo. So... I came home and I tried to find as much history as I could because it's all of it's city property, so I can go and metal detect it. So I I can go any all this property here is all city, but the the high grass here is like probably three foot high. So the rest of it, other than that lot, is the only place we can metal detect. We ain't gonna be able to metal detect any anything in here. So I came home and I couldn't find any history about it. That I was like, well, it's kind of hard because I actually went in there and the the woods that are overgrown in there now is real dense. It's really hard to get into. There's like certain spots all the way in the back, though, you can actually get in there and metal detect. And I guess if I took some tools, I could probably cut branches and get in there and metal detect more. So I decided to go on um, Google Earth. Well, the Google Earth that you want to go on to is the Google Earth Pro. And on Google Earth Pro... Up in these boxes, there's a little clock. So if you hit this clock, you can go back in time. See how there's like, it says 22. So you just go back in time. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. So you can literally go back in time. So that's 2015 there. So obviously that house is gone. That's 2014. The house is gone. That's 2010. The house is gone. That's 2009, no house. And there it is. So they, so in 2007, the house was still there. So basically, this will show me a photo where the house sitting there. So basically, when you go to a spot, you can use this map so you ain't metal detecting. He said all they did was bulldoze it over. So basically, if I was in here metal detecting, I'd just be metal detecting over the foundation. I wouldn't find anything. So uh, now... With the map, I can use this photo, and it'll show me where I need to go when I'm there to metal detect. And I'll probably be showing you guys more of these maps. I mean, Google Earth is probably, it's it's really good, especially when I, I used to do a lot of old schools, and a lot of them was tore down, so I could use these maps, and it would show me where the school was actually setting. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as we get back in there and get onto a signal. Okay, guys, we're back in here. So basically the lot's not really that big, but I know in the back, cause when I was here yesterday, I walked in the back and there is more open space in the back, but you can see what I'm dealing with. It's so dense back here. And this is that driveway on that map. So that's the driveway there on the right. So it, uh, this up here would have basically been the front yard, but we'll see what we can get into. You know, I'll start in the back though, cause we know for sure that's the backyard. I'll start in the back. Then I'll just dig any of the real good signals. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get onto a real good signal. Okay, guys, I'm onto a signal. But I started in the back. I've dug some regular clad. And I dug one wheat penny so far. Then I decided to come around to the front. But the front's a lot harder because it's so overgrown. So I'm going to focus up here for a little while. And I'll probably work my way back here. But so far, all I've dug is clad. I had one spill. I mean, I've dug probably at least 10 modern coins and one wheat penny. And some trash. Making 
I mean, this is old too, man. This is, it looks like a, almost, it almost looks like a crudo bell, part of a crudo bell. Other than there's like threads on it over here though. That ain't a crudo bar, crudo bell. I'm sure that was it. But it's like real hard back in here because it's so overgrown. There's like branches hanging everywhere. Yeah. That was it for sure. I mean, it's like, like I said, it's almost impossible up here to metal detect, but I'm trying to do the best I can. Hoping I can come across at least some silver, because like I said, I found one wheat penny. But it's like... <laughs> I brought some little cutters, but by the time I get it out of my pocket, I can just break them off like that. But like I said, this house has been gone for, you know, way over 10 years, or almost 10 years, I think. I can't remember, I think it was like, so it's been out here since um, 2007 is when they tore it down. But all this stuff just growed up since then. And I got some of this, this this little crap in my woods and it's the same way, man. So you can cut it back and it just grows right back real quick. But it's kind of hard, like I said, on a camera to actually tell how bad it is back here. But it's pretty bad. That's why it's weird when you're finding coins. Because I found coins. You can find money almost anywhere. Now we're headed back out the way I came in. figure if I get too desperate because there's a spot out front between the field and the next lot that's been mowed I'm pretty sure that guy got permission the other house and mowed it so I might end up going back out there if I get desperate because I'm finding coins it's just really hard it's hard to metal detect back here signal that sounds like a crappy one I'll say it's practically laying on the ground it's probably a bottle cap or something it's definitely laying on the ground That's a coin, it looks like. Uh, that's a root. It's probably trash that it's.
International St. Louis. I don't know what that all that is, unless that's off some a semi truck or something. It's old though, not real old. You know, this is at least from the 40s or the 50s. Well, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get onto something. Okay, guys, I want to do another signal. I can guarantee you if I had a camera set up so someone could watch what I'm actually doing, they'd people be laughing at you. <laughs> but that's all I'm doing is crawling around back in here. I just don't want to give up because I think I could I could at least find some kind of a silver corn at least. And that's it right there. It looks like a like a top part of a fence or something. But it's not really trashy, I wouldn't say, because I'm not getting like a ton of signals. It's just hard because you're bent over and stuff and you got all these branches down on top of you. And like I said, you can bring bigger tools to cut this shit down, but it just gives us more stuff you got to carry. I just got these little hand cutters. Well, you can see I cut all this stuff out here. But big cutters is just more shit you got to carry with you. Then you got to worry about losing it, dropping it or something. Uh -huh. Let's see what this is. kind of root that's just I'm just hitting a root all up that's right in between them actually uh, is that it some kind of plate Man, I was hoping that'd at least be a, I thought that was gonna be a coin. Man, it wasn't coming in like a silver coin, but you know, like a a weed or something. Well, I'll get off here guys, I'll get back to you so they get on another one. Okay guys, we're on a call today. I just wanted to show you how high this grass is. But the whole thing on that map, that whole area is all, the whole thing's like that, all the way back to those woods, all the way in the back. So like I said, we got permission to do the property next door and it's an old 1856 house. I think it's an original farmhouse. So we'll probably do it in a couple weeks that I'll let him know that I'd like to get in here and do this and maybe he'll message, I'll get him to email me or something to, somehow, but it's owned by the city. They might leave it like this. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do with it. I, like I said, I think they owned it originally, then they bought this lot up too, so they own this now too. Uh, who knows what they're going to do with it, or they just bought it because it was practically free. But this is what we got. So the oldest thing we found was this old mason jar lid. And of course, I went, I dug a giant hole. I was hoping to find glass. I didn't even find glass. All I did was find the lid. I was hoping to find a jar full of money. We found this. I'm not for sure. Like I said, this is our second day. I, last night I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find anything on it. So I don't know if that's off a semi truck or something. I don't know. Then we dug some clad. And of course, we dug a lot of wheat pennies. I got like one. So we dug all those. What is there? Like six, seven wheat pennies. But I dug one of them in the back, and most of them I dug up here. So. You know, before I decided to throw in the towel, this is where I was at up here because we could tell the, the the front where the front yard is. But like I said, man, it is so hard to get in here. 
and I brought those cutters with me today and you can see how I've cut some. I cut some just so I could get back in there. But when I was here yesterday, man, it was a bear. And most of it's just the stuff's hanging down in your face. So you can, you can get in there swinging around if you can get to it, you know, because you can see how the ground is. But it's like big time overgrown. And if you look at that last photo, this was just their yard. This was the front yard. This is how much it growed up since, you know, probably like 2008, I'd go and say they tore the house down. And it's kind of hard to find back, things back here, you know, like from the truck. I was trying to think, you know, that the sidewalk would have been like right here. So I pounded this area. Everything in here I pounded the shit out of. And you can see there's not a lot of holes. I mean, you can see a couple of holes I dug. But I didn't really get a lot of signals. And there was a lot of big trash in the ground, like from like window sills and stuff. And I can tell in, there, in the back there was a lot of pipes. So they obviously did just bulldoze it. They didn't go in here and dig it up. So I just, like I said, we just didn't come across anything. So, I, I, cause I tried, man, I tried today. I mean, yesterday we were here about three hours and I think I just had one wheat penny and I found the rest of those today and I found most of them up here. I'm almost sure I found all of them up here. I mean, there might've been one that I didn't know was a wheat, but um, then I just kept going over and over. I was like, man, give me one silver, at least, you know, rosy or something. But I just couldn't come across it. And like I said, the, the way the weather is now, it's you're kind of limited to where you can go. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I would never attempt to come in a place like this because this is pretty rough. This is rough metal detecting back here. But like I said, when it's, you got bad weather, even this morning when I got up, the ground was frozen. I mean, it was weird because yesterday it got real warm and like right now I'm getting ready to leave and maybe it's like 35. So it's definitely going to warm up. And I basically, I got another metal detector. I'm going to be giving away a metal detector. So make sure you turn on notification notification bell on because I'll be giving it away. I have to go have like a heart cat done on Friday. And, and if I'm not feeling, I know I'm not going to be able to work all weekend, but if I don't feel real bad, maybe Sunday I can do the unboxing and uh, a field test over at that park we went to the last time. But I'm not for sure. So I might be laid up for the whole weekend. I might, I don't know what's going to happen really. Um, but I got to have that heart cat done on Friday. So more than likely I won't be doing anything next weekend. But I'm going to go over here and talk to this guy that owns this property. Because he wanted to let, I wanted to let him know that he told me his barn got broke into. Well, on the other side of the property over here, uh, there was a bunch of tubs over there with a bunch of tools in them. So I'm pretty sure that's probably his stuff. So I'm going to let him know. I mean, it's all ruined. It's all full of water. Then I'll tell him that we'll probably be back in a, in a week from this coming Saturday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.